It's June. It's hot. Hot but I'm already in North America. It's cold. That's why I'm dressed the way I'm dressed. I got my hoodie on. I got my Eastern Cape winter cap on. And because it's uh, June, this is a, uh, well, Youth Day was the 16th. We just call it Youth Month because of all. In fact, on Friday, we got to go down to my Dumbaza group. My wife and uh, her son is here from Cape Town, so he's got to go too. We go to this village, youth celebration. Well, youth, youth, the youth do everything, that kind of thing. You know, like that. Anyway, not bad. My moringa's in here. Um, but th uh, this past 16th, which was a uh, Sunday, uh, we had a visit. Uh, the head of the, uh, the what is the commander in chief, commander in chief of the Economic Freedom Fighters. I'm going to tell you about that. Upstock party. The guy. This is the. This is their cap. See, remember, economic freedom fighters. Now notice, they have in their thing. Um, they have a, a black hand. You got that gold star up there. I guess that's whatever. Then you have a spear like that. Well, a black fist with the spear. So economic freedom fighters. I guess freedom is the spear. The fighters. The fighters. Economics is the first thing. I guess. Anyway, so this is their, their cap. This is an original one. I got this the first year that they came out. I got it only because it's such high quality. I knew that'd be historic, so I bought the cap. That's what it looks like. Anyway, the reason why I bring uh, uh, Juju up, I'm sorry. Uh, his name is uh, <laughs> Juju. Juju's the nickname. Yeah, Juju's the nickname. is always charming. Um, it's because, uh, what well, I won't. His history, you just find out his history, but he gave a speech at the uh, University of Fort Hare, which is the university I go to. Uh, I'm currently in, um, you know, I have to take a little respite off, but uh, it was interesting because uh, at the beginning of his speech, he, he mentioned a lot of people that's been through the university, University of Fort Hare. Now, remember, University of Fort Hare was around at the time when they had a serious apartheid. So it was like, all these black leaders that they talk about, you know, and, well, they didn't have a choice. They had to go to the University of Fort Hare because there's no other university that would have them. See? Okay. So you have people like Z.K. Matthews. Uh, oh, they say Z down here. It's like Z. Z.K. Matthews. And he's, uh, the, the, the whole Freedom Charter, whatever, you know, that, that, the, a, that the ANC, uh, African National Congress, has, um, you know, he's the one that drew it up or whatever, have you. His house is, never mind, doesn't matter. Uh, Gavin Becky, another uh, stalwart of the, of the movement, he's the father of Tabo Becky. Tabo Becky actually, he went, to, Gavin Becky went to Fort Hare, but his son went to um, uh, uh, Lovedale. Lovedale College was, before Fort Hare, it was Lovedale. You see, so look, sort of like four here comes out of love to, so they're all connected. Oliver Tambo, O.R. Tambo, name the airport after him, you know, ANC person. Nelson Mandela, again, you know, you know Nelson Mandela, Madiba. I mean, a lot of these people just, oh, not a lot of some of these people like Madiba just pass through. You know, they got actually Madiba got kicked out. I don't get it. Some of them. One of my favorite heroes, Kenneth Kounda. Oh, I love this man, Kenneth Kounda. He's the one that got um, uh, 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 Rob Mugabe out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, he's uh, the head of first head of uh, Zambia, whatever it is. I met Kenneth Kuhn, did I tell you? I shook Kenneth Kuhn his hand. Mm, that's right, you know what I mean? One of my heroes. I really love Kenneth Kuhn. Uh, Jesus Nairi, of course, you know Jesus Nairi. Um, uh, Robert Mugabe, you know Robert Mugabe, head of state. Uh, my all time favorite that I know of, African hero, uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, that would be uh, Manglisa Robert Sabuwe, who graduated from here too. Uh, these are all things that Juju mentioned when he came through. Um, and also, of course, Chris Hani. Uh, Chris Hani. I won't get into the whole thing about Chris Hani. But it's interesting that both Chris Hani and Manglisa Robert Sabuwe uh, left, the a, left the ANC out of principle. So it's kind of interesting. So it's like Julius. I guess Julius leaving them last. I don't know. Maybe he's saying he, because he got kicked out of ANC also. Doesn't matter. So, uh, so he gave his he gave a speech, and one of the things that struck me about the speech, you know, the most one of the most famous sayings ever by uh, Malcolm X is "By any means necessary." It's been used a lot. You know, I don't even know where Malcolm got it from, but you know, as usual, I'm sorry. 
Let me just call him Juju. Let's be affectionately. Uh, Juju gave the speech, and he kept on saying, that "By any means necessary, to get the college to do it." It's a good speech. You should look. At. Maybe I'll put post a little. Bit. It's it's a longer speech, just a little part. Maybe I'll try to find the whole speech and do a, a link. We'll see what happens. But I bring up that to bring up something. Now, uh, the economic freedom fighters, uh, along with a bunch of other people, you know, are looking for certain things that that's been on the books for like 20 years, like land reform, you know, all the rest of this stuff. Uh, Jewish Maria, the one of his, that's bad. But the point is, uh, this is the the, the, the approach. Uh, I, I constantly talk to, I, I deal with a lot of young people. I deal with a lot of people here. And one of the things I was young, or I said the same thing. Look, I'm I'm sort of confused because. You know, all your struggle things, whatever, none of you heard it before. It seems like it was the same, the solutions you try to give are the same solutions that your, your you know, your father gave, your grandfather gave, you know, your, your great grand aunt gave the same solutions, you know. So where's the new thing? Well, how do you update, you know, not even update, how, what's your own solution for your generation, you see? So like, friend, let's, let's take a simple thing, like just a slogan, any means necessary. Good slogan, right? Long time ago, I came said, by any means necessary, okay, and all means possible. Okay, so let's take out by any means necessary. We want to, this has to be done, we, we're going to do this by all means possible. That's different than any means necessary, by all means possible. Listen, 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 listen. So what I'm trying to say, this generation, they should, nobody should, no, not nobody, but by any means necessary is played out. You got to get a new lexicon, whatever, new, uh, whatever. You know what I mean? You can't use the same slogans, you know. They, they, they always start, to, everybody in South Africa, like, a mile on the way to, a mile on the way to. Yeah, okay, great, I got you. You know, this, this, I got it. You know what I mean? Shows you advancement. But that was a, a degeneration that, that that thought that up is past. What are you doing? This is what's so important about the uh, 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 American descendants of chattel slavery. Every To me, everything we do has to be, uh, not more, not only more in 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 data and facts, uh, but also more in the present. What's the present uh, struggle? Yeah, we know about it. Okay, I won't get into that. That's for another 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 uh, posting. I just wanted to bring this up because I have to acknowledge that Juju was here. No, I didn't go to the. I didn't go. I won't say purposely, but you know, it's a lot of young. I don't want. I don't like political rallies. You said, but aren't you going to the states? Aren't you going to work for the Tulsi? Uh, 2020 campaign, but well, that's not a rally. I'm working for a candidate because I want to see what, what I want to see certain things from the inside of a, of, a, of, a, of a, what's happening now, as well as um, you know, just work on a campaign and be around political people. You know, a campaign that I particularly believe in. Okay, but I want to say one other thing because you mentioned all those names people have been afforded here, and there's another thing I want to uh, that I'm going to deal with more as the months go by. And this whole I won't say spirituality, but there's other, there's another level, the spirituality of, that, that, that we need to be using in, in this struggle for liberation. You sure what I mean? Like, um, like I say, mention all those names. So I walk through this campus. That means I, I, I breathe the same. He but saying I breathe the same air as these people. You know what I mean? These things don't disappear. When I was at the University of, of Cape Town, one of the things I really liked is um, that Ralph Bunch, you know, the first person, the first black person, first melanated person. Say it that way, uh, to uh, or overly melanated person, or more melanated person than the rest of those, than all the other white people. But I mean, he's the first uh, black person to win a Nobel Peace Prize. You know, or, yeah. So I'm beginning to say that. So he went to university, but he just graduate study at the University of, of Cape Town. Where I, I taught there for a second. Um, so. Same, so I walked the same place of Ralph Bunch. Now, why is Ralph Bunch important to me? I really like uh, the, the whole idea. He did. Here's what I know about Ralph Bunch. I was hanging out with his sister at uh, Drew College. This was in. It was Drew College. Drew University. Drew College. Drew University in uh, in New Jersey. This was uh, in, in the 70s. And um, and Moshe Dayan came there. Now he was the, the, the you know the, the defense minister of Israel at the time. Or, um, just retired, something like that. He gave a speech. Now I used to, I used to go to these places. I said to do, do where there's no black people. I'm like the only black. People. A few black people come, and because it's somebody nobody's interested in. You know, like you know, if you go into an Andre Watts concert, how many black people are going to get an Andre Watts concert? Even though he's black, you know that you understand what I'm saying. Is Andre still not? And my point is this. So at the end, I I just came up humbly. I just wait, 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 my turn. When I came, when I came uh, up to because everybody shaking the sample, blah, 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 they shook my hand. Hey, this hand shook Moshe Dayan's hand. You know, Kenneth Kunda shook this hand. So hey, look at that. Anyway, the point is, 
he lit up. I can't tell you. Remember, I'm only, only one of the few black people. I think it was the only person that came up to him. Black came up. He lit up, literally lit up. And he says, "Oh, my, 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 my. He says, you know, he says, you know, one of my, one of the most. Uh, he, he, he basically gushed. He said, well, one of the best people, something like that, um, ever was. He mentioned Ralph Bunch. He mentioned Ralph Bunch because I was black. His reference to Ralph Bunch, a great man. He basically, you understand what I'm saying? So this is what what what's what's, what's missing in in in, in I won't say black America <laughs> because there's so much strange in it, is that we used to have a thing we're so connected on this other level and even people from the outside even though it's just skin color they would connect with you because they knew somebody of them and, and the only people traveling there are of importance uh, then again you know there's a people who are traveling in certain circles that are um that get a different light you know what i mean so i guess what i'm trying to say me meandering and babbling about is that you know it matters not who he's it matters who you has been in proximity with who what 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 um what footsteps, what areas that the, that, the, that your heroes have walked through, you know, every time I go through 125th Street, you know, I think of Malcolm, you know what I mean? I think of, um, of, of uh, the, the bookshop, you know, whatever happened. Okay. So that's it. Just a little thought, you know what I mean? Because I had to mention Juju was here and all the rest of that stuff, and uh, I, I needed to let you know wherever we are on the planet, great people have passed through, and we should be breathing their air. And, and, and breathing their air, they're, they're, that's right, their air, their, their molecules are still around. You sort them out, get rid of those bad molecules, and bring in the good the, the good path that these people walked on. That's the message from me, T, from the Patterson Technical Trains to Bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the A D O S. <laughs>